Hello everyone, it's me Mrs. Gronert and today we are going to learn how to play the two digit number game with the hundred grid on Seesaw. So the first thing you'll have to do to play the game is click the activity in Seesaw, then click add response. Once you get to the activity, you're going to click the flex cards to create a two digit number like this. Here we go. Two and eight make the number 28. That's right. So now I need to find where the number 28 belongs on the hundred grid. So I'm going to get my pen so I'm ready. Hmm. Here's 21 and here's 30. I think it will be easier to count backwards from 30 to get to 28. So I'm going to do that. 30, 29, 28 right here. So now I'm going to write that number on the 100 grid. 28 belongs right here. That's awesome. Oh, this is fun. Let's make another two digit number. Ready? Four and nine make the number 49. Where does the number 49 belong on the 100 grid? You're right, 49 is the number right before 50. So I'll write the number 49 right here, right before 50, 49. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Let's play one more round together, ready? I'm going to click the flex cards to create a two digit number. Six and five. Okay, that's the number 65. Hmm, how can I find that? Well, I see the number 61. I think I'll count up to find that number this time. Ready? 61, 62, 63, 64, 65 right here. Oh, I need to click the pen and now I can write in 65. 65. Oh, this is a fun game to play. Now, you have two choices in how you can play this game. You can just keep adding numbers to the hundred grid and try to fill up as much of it as possible or when you get to 10 numbers that you've added to the number grid, you can click on the second page and play with a new hundreds grid. It's up to you. I hope you have a lot of fun playing the game and don't forget to click the check when you finish playing. Teachers, if you're interested in this game, a link to the activity in Seesaw will be included in the description of the video. Thanks for learning with me, everyone. I hope to see you again very soon.